Hey everyone, Tom here from Speed Tech Performance. I know you're not used to seeing me on this side of the camera. Normally I'm behind the camera making content with Cameron and other folks for Speed Tech Performance. Just wanted to let you know what I was working on today. I was working on um, our final uh, Chevelle chassis project. Uh, the Chevelle chassis project consists of five episodes taking the project through from stripping down a stock chassis, adding our chassis reinforcement kit and all of our bolt-on solutions for a stock A-body chassis. So while we were doing that, we did a flex test on the stock chassis. And uh, continuing on with that, we did a flex test on our extreme chassis while our project chassis was out getting powder coated. Now that the chassis is back from powder coat and we have it all put together with all of our bolt-on solutions, we did a flex test again with the modified stock chassis. So I think you'd be really happy with the results. I just wanted to uh, come on and uh, introduce this video before you see it because it's literally just three different videos that have been spliced together uh, to show these flex tests back to back to back. So uh, enough with the intro, on with the video. Uh, leave your comments below, let us know what you think. If there's other things like this that you'd like to see, let us know. And uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys out on the road and making more content for you. Thanks. <laughs> Now, as we all know, these stock A-body chassis are so famous for having so much flex. So before I get this torn down, I actually want to try a little bit of a science experiment to see just how much flex we have. So go ahead and cue that science music while I get this set up. All right, so in today's special edition of Science with Cameron, what I've done is I went and robbed our machine shop of 140 pounds of billet. We built this little contraption here out of some scrap pieces, and what we're gonna do is put some weight here on this end, essentially lifting up the driver's side of the chassis, and we're gonna see what happens back here. So let's get it done. So as you can see, I've got 140 pounds of billet aluminum stacked up here, and that frame is lifted quite a bit. Now, we have a ruler here to do the exact measurement, but watch this. All right, so I was able to just remove the jack stand that the frame was once sitting on, and let's see it dance a little bit. It's a lot of flex. So as you saw, I was able to take the jack stand out and I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on here and this thing's dancing like crazy. With our frame chassis stiffening kit, we're gonna eliminate that. So what we're gonna do is after it's in, we're gonna do this experiment again. So definitely stay tuned for part two of Science with Cameron. So as we unload the weight, you can see that the chassis is making its way back to the jack stand, taking the twist out of it. Now before I do get started, I do want to just make sure we have full everything out here on the table. When we did the first setup on the stock chassis, it had the engine, transmission, rear end. This one does have the rear end in, but in all reality, on that stock setup, that probably actually gave it some extra strength and rigidity that this one's not going to have. So this is going to be a true test of how strong our extreme setup is. And as you see, it has, this one's loaded with all of our control arms, spindles, these beautiful bright orange Goonie wheels. If you don't know who Goonie wheels are, I do want to just give them a quick shout out. They're great friends of ours. We use them on all of our projects to get them from one side of the shop to the other. It makes things super fast, easy, and convenient. And again, you definitely want to check them out. All right, so once again, sound man, go ahead and cue that science music because I'm going to be getting this set up.
All right, so we're set up here with the same 140 pound setup of the billet that I stole from our machine shop to do the flex test on the stock A body chassis. And if you remember right, I was able to walk over there to that frame stand and just pull it right out because there was so much flex. It wasn't even touching. There was about a good three quarters to an inch gap. Let's see what happens. No movement at all. So as you can see, full weight of the chassis on that stand, the last one I was able to pull right out, there's no flex. And on the last test, I actually pushed on this and there was a bunch of dancing happening in the back end. Here, nothing. Solid as a freaking rock. Or an extreme chassis, however you want to say it. Now that we have the sway bar installed, we have a complete chassis here from the front to the back. We have our control arms, our four link, our new axle and housing, and most importantly on this project, we have our frame brace kit. If you remember right, in one of the first episodes, we did a kind of a science experiment. Because these A-body chassis are so known for having twist and everything within the rails, our frame brace kit helps stop that. So I've got all the weights gathered that we used in the first episode and we're gonna put our frame brace kit to the test. So we've got all the weights stacked up here in what's technically round three in this science experiment, the stock chassis, the extreme chassis, and now the stock chassis with our frame brace kit. And if you remember back in episode one, I was able to walk back there and just grab that jack stand out with no problem. And as you can see, look at that. Solid as can be, zero movement. So once again, we've got about 150 pounds sitting here. And if you remember back in episode one, I was able to go back there and just remove that jack stand. As I push on this, look at that. There's no movement. So let's go ahead and walk back there and see what happens. So the proof is in the pudding. With our frame brace kit installed, that is solid as can be with an extra 150 pounds sitting on the front of the chassis. And with that, this project is wrapped and you're going to see it on the road with us in 2023. But before I go, I just want to say a couple things. Thank you so much to the sponsors on this project. We have Goonie Wheels, Viking Performance, Bear Brakes, and Borgeson Steering. Without them, this project would not have been possible. So once again, come visit us on the road in 2023 and see what Pro Touring products that we have to offer for your stock A-Body project.